Nikki welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title we are going to be reviewing um ancient cosmetics for the first time this was my first time ever using it and I'm just gonna basically basically yeah girl take you through the process of what I did how I used it and how it made my skin feel afterwards and such um so don't mind my face I don't know why my nose get a little red and um or working on the skin so yeah um if you want to see how i feel about you know ancient cosmetics and what i tried then please keep watching can y'all see me good okay don't mind my hair i literally did a hair mask and i didn't put anything in it just because i don't know i wanted to let it chill it was just water so she's not styled so i look a little bit crazy but okay so I'm going to be using this Healthy Glow Tumic Body Scrub by Ancient Cosmetics for the first time. I recent, This morning I did a face mask, I did a hair mask, and then I put, I ordered jojoba oil from Ancient Cosmetics because I personally like jojoba oil. I would use it in my hair um, and argan oil and stuff. So I ordered 100% pure jojoba oil. It's hypoallergenic. I put it on my skin and my skin looks really glowy. I'm so sorry for the glare in the background. It's, the window but uh it looks really glowy and soft and that was my first time using it so there's that i'm liking it so far but now it's time to get on to the turmeric body scrub so what i'm gonna do is that i just shave my leg <laughs> i just shave my legs just to make sure that they're you know soft and i'm gonna wet them normally you would do this in the shower but I showered and I plan on taking a bath later and I was just like, let me just do this now just to see. Um, so I wanted to do it outside. So I have a towel ready, not those, one behind me and stuff. So I'm just going to wet my leg and then I'm going to like kind of like rub the scrub on and then wash what it looks like. It comes dry so you have to activate it. So I'm going to... I'm gonna wet my leg. Okay, so since we're not in the shower and we're using the scrub, I'm gonna take just this damp cloth and kind of use that to wipe it off because I don't think it came with any instructions I'm not going to leave it on I'm just going to kind of you know scrub then take it off make sense good I'm like trying to pamper myself today doing laundry and stuff I'm going to do my nails I'm going to repaint my toes because they look terrible just to get ready for my little birthday photo shoot and to just help myself feel good you know it's kind of a bummer when there's so many things that aren't going the best in the world in, in general so I'm not too excited for my birthday I'm really grateful and I'm blessed but like you know I'm not like oh my god whatever but I'm trying to get myself a little bit more in the mood but there's just a lot going on in the world I wet the cloth again and then I let some of the water out and then I'm going on to the other leg to wipe away the scrub. Yeah, I would recommend shaving beforehand. I feel like it made things a lot easier. And also make sure to clean up your area afterwards because the scrub did get a little bit on my counter. Yeah, I feel like my face looks extremely like hydrated from the oil and I'm so happy. And I think I can use it all over my body. Same thing with the scrub, but I wanted to try on my legs first. And then if I like it, I'll probably go in like tomorrow morning or tonight and use it like on my arms and stuff, but we'll see. I'm gonna just take a, this is a dry towel, kind of pat dry my legs. Look how they look so smooth. Okay, normally my legs like look smooth after I shave, but like they look extremely nice and smooth and they feel really really soft so okay do your thing next is one of my favorite things so let's go to the 
Okay, so now we're in my room. And so this is what the jojoba oil looks like. Um, it's one natural ingredient. And also on the website, like I said, it claims to be hypoallergenic. And it's nice on my skin. I'm sure I can use it on other places in my body. But right now I'm focusing just on my skin to make it look a little glowy. Don't have a little birthday glow. 21st birthday glow. Oh my God, my hair looks good. Come through Shea Moisture. Anyways, so next what I'm going to do, I've used this before and I really like it. It's so soft and so nice. This is this Jasmine and Argan Oil Body Butter. It's by Ancient Cosmetics. And it smells so fucking good, y'all. Like, no, no mean to curse, but like... So... Basically, it says apply twice daily or as needed. I've tried it a little bit on my hand and stuff, so I should be good. There's no sulfates, no parabens, no gluten, no synthetic colors, no animal testing. So let's get into her. So she is a body butter. So it's obviously a different texture than lotion is. So you kind of want to take a little bit. And I am going in on my leg after my... You may not be able to see it, but after I just did the... um scrub on my legs i'm putting this on so you don't need to take a whole bunch like you don't need to take this much because it's very thick so you just need to take a little bit you rub it in and as it goes on it literally makes you look so shiny like like oil like i don't know if you can tell but like that's literally just from the body butter i'm gonna drag it down to my feet as well like the tops of my feet and the bottom but when you rub it in to me it kind of rubs into like a oil as you can see and I kind of really like that so I'm just rubbing that all over my legs and it's really hydrating so and you don't need a lot so I think that this can last you a little bit of time it doesn't expire until April of next year so I think it can last you some time I only use a little bit just for one leg. So I'm going to take like this. I like to rub it in and then go on on my legs. I don't use too much because like it literally turns into like an oil. It's really kind of cool. But I really like it. I've never really used a body butter. I don't know if I said the ingredients, but I'm going to read them off. The ingredients are shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, argan oil, which I love. Love argan oil for the skin. 100% um, pure argan oil for your skin is amazing. I would totally recommend and even for your hair. And then fragrance. The fragrance smells really good. It's nothing that's too overpowering or overbearing. But so I just applied it to my legs and no cap, no lie. Like my legs look super just because I shaved them and then I did the body scrub, but I just put the body butter and they look super shiny and nice and hydrated. Um, as well as my feet, because I did drag it to just the top of my feet, because you know, feet our feet need love, hello. And they look super hydrated, so I'm happy about that. I'm going to kind of just like rub the rest around my hands and such. I really, like this, this is the first thing that I tried, like especially like on my hand and stuff. Ugh. It just smells amazing, it's so good. And then the last thing that I have is this Acne Be Gone Face Serum. Now I haven't tried it yet. But apparently it's really good and it works. So once I try it, I will definitely let you guys know about that. But I can't really tell you about it right now because I haven't tried it. So today was my first day fully using majority of the things that I got. So it was my first day using the jojoba oil and the body scrub. I have used the jasmine and argan oil body butter, which I fell in love with. I give it a 10 out of 10. The jojoba oil, 100% natural, has one ingredient that it says, which is the jojoba oil, which I'm super happy about. And I feel like my skin looks really shiny and nice and just like hydrated. And I like it. So I give that a 10 out of 10 as well. The body scrub, I liked how it didn't feel too scratchy on my legs and stuff. So right now, because that's my first time really using it and I want to like continue to use it to make sure that like I like it and that it's like doing what it needs to do because I think you use it twice a week if I'm not mistaken once or twice so I'm gonna right now give it like a 9 out of 10 8 out of 10 um but yeah so that is my first initial review on the ancient cosmetics um line they have a lot of different products on their website i also did order a lavender body soap uh, but i haven't used that yet i was thinking of using it in my bath so whenever i make an updated video i'll probably do that and show you guys like 
um, what it looks like and how I liked it. If I did, if I didn't, I don't know. Um, but that is my first initial review on this. I'm actually happy with it. My skin feels my like my legs feel super soft and hydrated, like, and they look hydrated. Like I'm very happy, and so does my skin with the jojoba oil. But I don't expect anything different from jojoba oil. My hands, even with like putting on the scrub and putting on the body butter, feels amazing. So I'm liking everything so far. So I hope this help helps somebody that wants to order from them. Um, they weren't too expensive at all, and it comes with a decent amount of product, especially with the body butter. You're not supposed to use a lot, and it doesn't expire until next year. So I think that you can really the bang for your buck, like honestly. So. And the scrub comes with a decent amount and you don't need to use that much either. And especially with the oils and stuff, you don't need to be putting on too much oil um, in one area. You know, you just do like make it just a few drops on your face and that you're good. Like I feel hydrated. I feel good. So I'm really happy with it. And yeah, so I will definitely do an updated video when I incorporate this more into like my everyday routines with like the oil and the body butter and the acne serum and also the turmeric body scrub like it is a body scrub i just use it on my legs to see because that's my focal point right now today so that my legs can be nice and shiny for my little birthday photo shoot but yeah that's all i really have to say on it i like it so far and i'll do an updated video probably in a month so i hope this helps somebody who maybe wants to try it out i think you should go for it um especially if you want to try oils and you're a little bit nervous about like you having a reaction um as far as the jojoba oil goes it's hypoallergenic i would totally try it because i'm really into hypoallergenic products myself so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye